Hi, I'm Malvika and this is a short little video on how to do emotional freedom technique. If this is something new to you, it's a wonderful and powerful technique which helps the body to release memories of trauma and emotions which are not good for us, which tend to come up over and over again. Uh, we tap on certain points on the body which uh, correspond to the Chinese meridian system and I'm just going to give you a little demonstration as to how it works. We always start off with, this, with the side of the hand, it's called the karate chop point, this fleshy part of the hand. You are going to tap on that with your other hand, uh, gently, firmly, about seven to ten times. We start off there and the other points where we're going to tap are top of the head, right here, crown center, we tap on that point. Then we come to the inner eyebrows, just where the eyebrows come in, in inside, we take on either side, we tap on that area. The next point is the side of the eye, just on the bones near the temple, right there, side of the eye. Then under the eye, upper end of the cheekbone, just under the eye, center right there. The next point is under the nose, on the upper lip. And notice that about seven to ten times, usually the length of a breath, a uh, breath cycle, taking the breath in and releasing it. The next point is a chin point, which is this little indent under the lower lip and the, uh, over the chin. The next point is a, called the collarbone, which is on either side of this little notch over here. You could be tapping right on the bone and the collarbone. Then there is a point under the arm. If you just came down a few inches under the arm, right about uh, three or four inches right there, you will find a very, very tender point. So you're going to tap on that point. And then we come right back to the karate chop point. So these are the points on which we tap when we do the emotional freedom technique. And typically when we are doing the emotional freedom technique, we take a problem. Now the problem may be that I have a bad knee, maybe my left knee has, is aching and I'll take that problem and I'm going to tap on that. So what I do is I go to my karate chop point, I tap on that and I do what is called a setup. When I do a setup, I will say to myself, even though my knee is aching, I love and accept myself completely. Even though my knee is aching, I love and accept myself completely. This loving and accepting myself is a very big part of this emotional freedom technique because it is that opening up to the love and acceptance which creates the channels of the body to open and that is the energy that will uh, do the healing. So three times we will do the basic setup. Even though my knee is aching, I love and accept myself completely. And then we go through the tapping sequence. Just as I sh um, showed earlier, you start tapping on the top of the head, my knee is aching. This time we just use that reminder phase, my knee is aching, my knee is aching, my knee is aching, my knee is aching and the pain won't go away. So I'm staying tuned to my ache, my knee is aching, this ache in my knee. Next point, this ache in my knee, under the arm this ache in my knee and back to the karate chop point and that's called a sequence and we will do that a few times inevitably what happens that the ache in the knee will start to shift you'll find either it is released completely or partially or you sometimes even it increases because it's bringing up stuff that now needs to be healed so that's the basic protocol of emotional freedom technique one setup and a few rounds of the sequence following each point with the reminder phrase. I'm Malabika Shaw. You can find out much more about what I do as an energy healer and a consultant on my website, visionholistic.net. Thank you.